So let's go through a couple of things before we get started. I have to go through the, all the boring stuff first. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, so welcome tonight. Thank you for joining me. I always have so much fun with you guys and greatly appreciate I don't know what to say. I feel bad because Oh, hold on. I've got to I've got to mute my we can hear her. It's so strange. I gotta mute my um oh. YouTube. Okay. Oh, I feel like I've got some let's go through a couple of things. Oh, um, okay, I probably will be checking. All right, there we go. So now I have to go ahead and find her and mute her real quick. Because otherwise, where is oh, there she is. Okay. Let me try to mute. All right. I feel bad. I wish she would call me or text me. That would be so fabulous. Let me see if she has. No. All right. Well, we'll get started. All right. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's always so much fun to be here with you guys. And as always, I love your input. Just remember, the tiles are in the eyes of the beholder, even though there could be good, better, and best with decision making. Sometimes I mess up. Yes, and many times I mess up. Not intentionally, though. I'm going to blame it on my blonde hair. But in any event, it's, um, it is fun. So I want to go through a couple of things really quick. So I'm going to share my screen and open up my top here. Okay, so uh, I don't talk a whole lot about MajCon, but I do want to mention it again because it is such a fun event. And if you come into just the homepage, MajCon.com, read through the website and read about the event. You could even look at pictures from last year's event and the year before, you can watch a little trailer here. Uh, by the way, we had we were on the news and it was really cool, but somehow the video, I don't know if it expired. I'm gonna have to like look into it and, and check because it was a link from the radio state, um, from the news station. So anyway, this year um, is gonna be very different from last year. Last year was a lot of fun, but I just changed it up because I took people's feedback and I wanted to implement stuff. So even though like right now, if you go into the schedule, <clears throat> I have it as two days right here, a Thursday and Friday event. And here's the breakdown of the event, both days. I actually am adding the night before, which is Wednesday night as a social Mahjong play get together or an optional enter into a mini tournament. And people had asked me that are flying in, they said, we're coming in a couple of days early. Can you do something the night before? So I was like, yeah, why not? No big deal. The venue had the space available. So I went ahead and took it. So what is the, the event like on Thursday? Okay, Thursday, in the morning, it's all hands-on workshops, all right? And everybody can benefit from these workshops. You don't have to be a beginner, a novice, even you know a low intermediate to benefit. I had a workshop here this past weekend, and I had people here that were playing for 10 years, and they learned many new things that they never thought about. So sometimes people get like just stuck in a rut of doing things their way that they're so used to doing for all these years. And they don't realize that there are other things that could actually up the level of their game. So this is geared toward that. Now on um, the second day, so you can look, you can come into the website. I'm not going to go through every single thing, but on the uh date, uh, not the day two, on this day in the afternoon is all social play. And it is a fundraiser for Alzheimer's. So it's going to be a silent auction. Last year, we had incredible gifts donated. So I am hoping to accomplish that again. We raised a good amount of money for them. And
And it was really, really thrilling just to be able to give back and also for people to be able to get these wonderful gifts. And I think, um, hey, John, welcome. I see John is joining us. And matter of fact, John donated some of his prints and uh, also a set, one of his um, special Mahjong Diva sets. And it was just so appreciated. So John, thank you so, so much. I know you're on you're mute now, but, oh no, you're not on mute. So hello and happy new year to you and Judy. Thank you. So, so, it, so that's the afternoon of this day. Now, one thing I want to mention is last year we had a full day of sessions and we only had one session to choose from. You could not, if you took one in that hour and the sessions were going on in three rooms, you couldn't get to the others. And people were like, but I wanted to see that. I wanted to hear that. So this, a lot of the sessions are repeated and they're all hands on. Bye, honey. And they're all hands on. They're not lectures. Last year, they were more in the form of a lecture. And yeah, there was interaction at the end with questions and answers. But honestly, people want to get their hands on the tiles most of the time. I would think you would agree with me there. During lunch, there's going to be a lot of shopping. Hopefully, we'll have as many exhibitors as we had last year. We had some really nice exhibitors. Day two is a full day of either social games or you enter into a tournament. It's as simple as that. Okay. And again, for those that came in a little bit late, I'm adding on the night before. I have not updated it in here. The night before, I'm adding on a social game evening from seven to 10 or enter into a mini tournament uh, and the venue had the, the space available. So I took it and people requested it that are flying in. So that's, you know, again, come in and read about it. Consider coming. It's taking place in the villages. I don't know if any of you have ever been here. You got to experience it at least one time in your life. It is such a fun city. And if you watched any of the documentaries, please erase it from your memory bank because they are not they are as far from realistic as they could be to what this city is all about. Like I don't want to live or I don't want to die anywhere else. Like I'm here. Okay, I'll go visit and vacation, but I'm here. So make it an extended stay. I mean, there are so many things around us, Kennedy Space Center, Disney World, lots of things. And they're all on here on the home page. You can come in and you can go uh, to the event page and you can look at all the different places. There's links, I'm not sure exactly where they are right now, but here they are. All of the different things that are around here. I have top attractions, restaurants, uh, and just, read more about it. Okay. Now, the other thing about my web page is the player database, which is growing. If you guys have not yet given me your name, your city, state, zip code, and email address with the phone number being optional. So this person didn't want it in and either did this one. Please Put it in the chat window and I'll write it down and I will add you in here. This benefits both you and it benefits the person who needs to find somebody, whether you're vacationing somewhere or you've just moved or you need to find a new group. So you could you could filter it by state and it'll bring up the California, the state of California. Or if you want to, sorry, if you want to filter it by, let's say, you know, city, um, you can, you're like, oh, I'm going to be visiting Santa Barbara. You could pull it up and you could find the player there. So please, I want it to grow. We're only at like 75 people in here. There are hundreds of thousands of players across the country. So spread the word and please put in chat your information and I will add you. Okay, 
The last thing that I'm going to talk about before um, the shop page is still not completed yet. You could go in and look around, but it's still not completed. But the last thing I want to talk about is Modgepedia. Lots of fun, growing tremendously. It is an encyclopedia for Mahjong. I am going to be adding more strategies as time goes along. You have an idea or you want me to add something that's not in here, hit the contact us, put your information in and let me know what you want me to consider adding. And I will be, now Monica, you put your name and email address in, thank you so much, but I also need city, state and zip code as well. Um, so I'm, add, I'm adding that Debbie, because uh, I live in New Jersey and I have a home in the villages. Give me both. Give me both city, state, and zip codes. Many people are in here twice. The worst okay. thing happens is someone contacts you and you say, you know what? I'm in the villages for six months right now and I won't be home till, but you still will make the connection, okay? All right, so getting back to Mojpedia, every rule that's in Mahjong Made Easy is in here. If I've missed something, let me know. It's in a simple question and answer format. So if you put in here commitment to a call or commitment to a pick, or you could put one word in, less is more. I think I wrote that up here when searching a few words are better than many. Um, you can you could look right here, commitment to calling, a discard to commitment to picking from a wall, the wall. And it's just in question, format, answer, format, and then I give you where it was mentioned. Many rules are not in Mahjong Made Easy, which is not even technically a rule book. It's called a guide book. So if you were to put in here, um, rules not, okay, Index of rules not found in Mahjong Made Easy. Take a look at how many things are here that are not in the book, and these are all rules. So one thing about, you know, we're, I'm very appreciative to the league. Look, <laughs> Mahjong would not be what it is today without them. So I am so appreciative what they have done. But their rule, their guidebook is lacking a bit. Um, there is just so many discrepancies and inconsistent inconsistencies and there's duplications and so many rules that have no penalties, but then others have penalties that are like a little beyond what I would want to have as a penalty. But anyway, it is what it is. So this is a Debbie. fun place. Yes. Barnett. Yes. She has like a live uh, stream right now. Oh, who's that? I thought somebody talking was talking to me. Stuff. Okay, hold on. Let me see who's chatting. Uh, oh, maybe it's John. I don't know. But anyway, if anybody is um, talk, talks in the background, because I can't tell who it is, because I'm like looking at my screen and doing other things, just mute yourself and stay muted and message me through the chat. And I'll be I'll be checking on um, YouTube and hello out there. I have people watching on YouTube, and I'll be checking both chats because I have a couple of heads. No, just kidding. All right, so let's go ahead and get down to the business of what we come here to do on Wednesday night. We play against these very intelligent bots. And I love Maj because they have intelligence built in three levels, which is cool, really fun. And I really like this site. It's very intuitive. It's the most realistic to real life play. And if you go into play game launch pad, if you end up signing up for this, which by the way, if you do, you can get three weeks for trial to try it and use my code DB, or I'll put in the notes after uh, the link, direct link to, to go there. And so, but otherwise, if you sign up, you could put in DB. So anyway, I love it because it is the most like real play. It's the only gaming site that uses the correct naming conventions for the tiles. And I so appreciate and respect that. 
because we, as the new players that learned online during from lockdown up until now, some haven't even yet played in person, believe it or not, have learned some really not so good habits. I don't even want to use the word bad because I feel bad saying that, but some not so good habits. I've been running these workshops in my home because I have I can have eight tables, even though it's a little place. And I'm doing it because I had a big event and I couldn't believe what I was seeing going on. And a lot of these people were had learned I they never played in person. I only played online or they learned from somebody who really wasn't an experienced instructor, I guess. Anyway, whatever it is, I like to follow proper American Mahjong naming conventions and the rules as much as possible. Table rules are fine because they change things up a little bit and add things. But overall, I'd say. I can only think of really one rule that's probably not followed. And that's the, the first to expose rule for calling a tile. Uh, but anyway, I'm happy to talk about that another time, but I don't wanna take time doing it tonight if you guys don't know what I'm talking about with that. Uh, anyway, 99.999% of the time, I like to follow the rules. Okay, so in this site, you have the exercise room wonderful place. If you come in and try this out, you can try each one of these items out and, and just have fun with it. When the new card comes out very soon, I'm so excited. This is how you can come in and learn the card. Make a hand, go through, and it will help you make a hand. I'll just show you really quickly here. So you'll have now hands from the 2023 card and you just follow, you know, find, you can find it on the card and follow it along line one of 2022. And you'll just go through hand by hand and make it and do it, do this over and over again. It's fabulous. The other thing is Charleston practice. You could get suggestions. You could also replay. Uh, the same tiles and do something different to see a different outcome. What hand is this? Is about exposures being up on other players' racks and you having to pick out, first of all, what sections it might be in, and second of all, which hands. Once you have selected everything and they're over here on the right side, you click validate and you'll know whether you got it all right. So this is just fun stuff. Just everybody can use learning more of the card, right? I mean, I don't know for sure, but if I didn't, if someone took the card away from me and said, write down every single hand on the card, I don't know that I'd get 100% right. Not, I don't know if I'd get 90, but I'll say maybe 85% right. I probably believe have to look back, but it's fun to try to memorize it. Okay, so anyway, that's the exercise room. So now we're gonna go in and we're gonna, we're not gonna play with friends, obviously. We're gonna play with bots and they are just as fierce as real players, sometimes I think even more fierce. And so I'm gonna click play with bots and I'm gonna stick with intermediate because I think that's what everybody is comfortable with. Um, although, yeah, I'll stick with intermediate because this way I have a little bit more of a chance to win <laughs> with intermediate. Uh, yeah. So, all right. So love, let's go ahead and get started. And again, I welcome your feedback. Stick it in chat and just let me know. Uh, I can't promise I'm going to go your way, but if I think it's reasonable, I will. And I'll try to give you my best reasoning why I'm not, but here we go. We're gonna start playing. And I'm gonna say no, it will let you accept people coming in to play, but I'm gonna say no for tonight. And 
I have, in case you forgot what level you picked, you could click on that or if you change your mind, if you set a timer, it will time you, I think it goes from 10 down to six seconds uh, for calling a tile, but there is a pause button. So, but if you forget to hit the pause button, you could miss a tile you're thinking about. So I'm gonna keep it off because we're gonna be talking through stuff. And I am using the large print tiles, but if you wanna have a lot of fun, and learn about the Mahjong line. I know John has uh, several of their sets and it, it's a little confusing when you first start playing with them to know what's a crack and what's a dot. Some of them are more obvious on some of their sets, but others are a little more challenging, but nonetheless, they're beautiful and you could play. I'm going to use large print because I consider myself in the senior citizen category and I need all the help I can get. First Charleston. Okay, so here we go. So we're going to sort it out and we're going to start as we usually do by working first on any strength that we have in the hand, which would be a pair. And so I do have a pair of five cracks and I have a pair of east. And then I'm going to build around these. So I'm gonna add tiles to these. So if I were to just start with the fives and not think about the east, what would I wanna to add to that? Well, I'm gonna add everything, first of all, in the five, seven, nine category. Uh, one, three, five, seven, nine category. Okay. And so I'll put them nice and neatly there. So now we have quite a few tiles in the one, three, five, seven, nine category. Since I have a pair of fives, I'll also look to see, do I have any other fives? Would I necessarily be considering doing uh, like numbers, but I don't have any other fives. Now, I do have two East, so the question becomes, do I want to hang on to them for one or two passes, see if anything else comes in? And if I did hold them, we could potentially do the East and West with the mini run, but I don't really have a whole lot in any kind of mini run because it's got to be in one suit except a seven, eight, which I could keep because if I wanted to consider also the runs, let me let somebody in here. If I wanted to consider the runs and the runs are one of the most flexible categories, I could say, oh, well, maybe I'll keep, um, you know, the five or keep the fives for a possible mini run, four, five, six, and maybe I'll get a six crack to also work in with five crack, six crack, seven dot, eight dot. So you see, there's a lot of things going on. Your brain has to really be on fire to see all of this stuff, right? So if I wanted to keep that and keep this, I'm going to move this over here. Then I have to kind of decide, well, what am I going to keep when it comes to that one, three, five, seven, nine? And because I have more of the higher end five, seven, seven, nine, and if you're not aware of it, for those of you that are newer, in the one, three, five, seven, nine, it's kind of split down the middle almost where you've got uh, dominant higher end numbers, five, seven, nine, and you have some lower end numbers, one, three, five, with some including all and some few that are mixed. So do what do I wanna do here? What's my, what's my feeling of what do I wanna do here? I mean, I also love the concealed hand under one, three, five, seven, nine, and my head goes there. I don't have flowers yet. Not that that matters because things could change up completely. Now, let's see. What else could we do? 
So, hmm, I'm not 100% sure that I want to mess with the East at this point. Not 100% sure. And I think for right now, I am going to break this up just because I'm not really feeling it all that much right now. And I'm gonna get rid of the two. And then I have to think about, well, let me just see, maybe I'll do this one because I wanna keep the high end. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, uh, I may keep this though. Uh, I may keep this because the eight really falls nicely into seven, eight, nine and five, six, seven, eight. So it falls in nicely into consecutive numbers as well. Now, keep in mind, I'm not picking a hand, okay? For those of you that are thinking, what hand are you playing? I'm not picking a hand. Right now, I'm collecting tiles. I'm collecting five, seven, seven, nine stuff. I'm thinking about maybe consecutive run stuff. I mean, um, it's got, I've got a little bit of a lot. I do have two like number sevens and two like number nines, but then I uh, can't use my nut five cracks. So a little crazy. So anyway, I am going to do, whether I do one and two or two and three is not gonna matter much here, but I'm gonna take the one and I'll tell you why. It's a pretty pass. Okay, I just tell my opponent it's a pretty pass. And then, then they say, oh yeah, you missed me all around. But anyway, um, I am keeping the three because if for any reason I got ones and threes, I have the five crack and the seven and nine bam. And that's a good amount of the first hand under one, three, five, seven, nine on the right side. Okay, look, you're not gonna see every single one of these things, but eventually you will. So just keep hanging in there and building your skills. So I'm going with that. Okay, so I now got a one, three. And yes, th this is a risky little venture here. Be oh, hold on, I got a pair. So right now I have an entire hand in the making. One, three, top line on the right side. I need that one dot to make it feel comfortable for me, but I got it. I got the uh, nine bam. So here I go. I don't wanna give up any of my one, three, five, seven, nines. I have to protect myself in case that first hand did go belly up and I don't wanna keep all my eggs in one basket or all my tiles in one basket. So I am definitely going to keep all that. And to be honest, I'm not gonna keep, I'm not gonna think about the run right now because look what else I have. I also have a pair of nines, a nine dot and a nine crack. Now I can even think about like numbers. One of the three, I don't know what one, but I could definitely do that. Now, did I get anything else in? Okay, so let's talk about this. I didn't get anything in, but those two E's are out there. And I just, um, I, this is the across. So I gave to the right and then um, I gave across and I got a West. So either somebody may be holding those or maybe there's just not a lot of wins going on right now. We don't know, but nonetheless, I'm going to stick with my category right now, one, three, five, seven, nine, with possible like numbers changing things up. I don't know. We'll see. I could do lots of run stuff too. There's lots of stuff to do, but you know, you don't want to get too crazy and then get, okay. Are we continuing? Are we continuing? Somebody put in chat, yes or no? Yes. Yes, absolutely, 100%. What's the rule of thumb? If you've got three tiles to pass, you pass it. If you're torn between two hands, you make the better choice, the easier hand, the one that doesn't maybe have pairs or singles, but you have to continue because you're otherwise 
preventing yourself from getting three, six, nine, 12 tiles to look at. Not that you're gonna get 12 in, but okay. So we're gonna do that. I'm not gonna keep the three BAM because it does, and even though it's in the one, three, five, seven, nine, I am more, the five, seven, seven, nine is more of a dominance. And the only reason I'm gonna be veering off of that track is keeping in mind that first hand on the right side under one, three, five, seven, nine. So, and I could do a, a, a blind pass, but I don't see any reason to keep that tile right now. So we're going bye-bye. Um, eight dot, I gave it away and I got it back and now I got a North. So now we've seen a North, a West and two East. So far, as far as winds go, I like to keep track of what's happening with that. All right, now we have a one, a three and a four. And this would be a tough one for me to pass because of what we just passed on the first left if I were doing a second left to the same person. But since we're going across, I'm just gonna go ahead and get this out. I'm not keeping the one and three for any reason right now. There is a three again, so nobody's playing it. Okay, so we have a seven crack and we definitely wanna keep that. And let me do my last right and optional and we'll talk about all the potentials here. So I'm gonna do, um, let me think if I want to do uh, five, seven, seven, nine, five, seven. Okay. So I'm going to do, I don't think the nine crack, but I don't want to give it out because I've had it the entire Charleston. That's the only reason I wouldn't send the nine crack out. I don't really think it's going to play into my hand here, but I've had it the entire time. I love it when someone gives me a brand new tile on the last rider optional, because it's usually a tile I need. So I'm thinking I'm not gonna give it. So I'm just gonna do two here. I'm gonna blind pass. Do you have? I'm gonna do a blind pass. And I got a North back. My kind of feeling here is I'm gonna do two. Is that no, well, I have never seen the East. Somebody's playing East and West. I have a feeling, I have a little bit of a feeling there. Oh, and I got the one and three back. How interesting. Okay, so let's first talk about what our options are here. I am gonna keep my eye on one, three, crack. I mean, one, three dot, five crack, seven, nine, bam. First hand, one, three, five, seven, nine on the right side. If that hand goes belly up because all my one dots go out, then I've got my the old trusty, what I call the pung pung kong kong hand, which there's one in every section except for um, quince and singles and pairs. Okay, there's a pung pung kong kong configuration every single one of these sections. And it's great because pungs are easier to get than kongs, and you've got two in here. So this five, seven, seven, nine would be hand number three on the right side under one, three, five, seven, nine. Phyllis, you're awfully quiet tonight. I get nervous when you're so quiet. So. <laughs> well, you really haven't asked any questions. So. I know. I know. I'm just teasing. Oh, I put yes. You know, when, when people tease you, that means they like you. I know. I typed a yes in before. Good. I see the yes. Good. Okay. So um, those are what I have right now. What else could I possibly keep or think about? Let's see. Hmm. Let's see with uh, ones and nines and three, five, seven. Nah. I was thinking about the fourth one down, but now nah, that's kind of not the easiest hand. I don't have flowers right now and I don't have three, five, seven in one suit anyway. So, okay, now discards. The one in three, 
came and went a couple of times. So nobody's playing that at all. So would I start discarding the three or the one? No, I'm going to discard the nine because I'm not going to be playing with the nine. And the nine's been in my hand the entire time. So it's what I consider one of the freshest tiles out there. It's not been seen by anybody during the Charleston at all. So I'm going bye-bye to the nine crack, unless somebody thinks there's a very strong reason why I should keep it. It's going bye-bye. Nine crack, east. Oh, there goes an east coming out. Okay. Three bam. And there's another three bam. Three bam. And there's another three bam. So that tells me that the three bam is my safest tile currently that I have to discard. By the way, I wanna put this back for right now in this configuration and that's all. Okay, so it's the safest tile I have. It went around the Charleston, came and went and came and went, and now two people have discarded them. So I am going to, Okay, so let's see, five, seven, seven, nine. Okay, so I'm gonna show you with my one, three, five, seven, nine, Mixuko's belly up. I now have five, seven, crack, seven, nine, bam. And I now have the option with this way. So when you can see two configurations, whoo, wow. Okay, now. If you're not sure what I'm playing, you could put it in chat and I'm trying to pay attention to that. So um, I will let you know. So what would be my next discard? I'm gonna do a one bam, even though I know that was going around, nobody needs it, but I don't have a lot of discards that I wanna get rid of yet because I'm not making a decision until I'm forced to make a decision about one hand. One bam, six crack, one bam. West. Well, we know nobody's playing with ones and threes. Okay. All right. So now we have a soap. Any reason to keep it? No. Not keeping the soap. Not even considering the, the seven and nine with the soaps at this point. I've got so many things happening here that are strong. So I'm not keeping it. I'm going to get rid of it. So one crack. And we don't need that. Two bam. One crack. Okay, so now we have a three crack. I could be like, oh, well, maybe I'll keep one, three, three, five for the low end. That's a lot going on. I could do it and I can get rid of the three bam now. There's no reason why I can't, but I mean, I just feeling like it's going to be a five, seven, seven, nine deal, not a, let's see, three, five, seven. Look, there is another hand, but do I want to tell you it? Okay, I'll tell it to you. Phyllis sees it already. Yeah, I saw it before. She said, uh -huh. well, but I didn't have it before because I just got uh -huh. that single in. Yeah. So there it is. Whoops. Uh, that is the fourth hand down. If I had some flowers, I could potentially play that hand. So here's the deal. I can get rid of the three bam. Why not? No reason for me to hold on to it when I can get rid of it with and keep everything else. So now my brain is on fire because now I've got lots going on. So I'm going to need your help, you guys. Three bam. North. A uh, north. Five crack. Okay, so we now have a five crack, and we have, if we were wanting to play the first hand, I could call it with the Joker, but it wouldn't be the smartest choice right now because I'm going to be stuck with four. I'm going to be stuck with a Kong of five cracks. That means I can't flip into my five, seven crack seven nine dot or seven nine bam this is where beginners get stuck and they want to call they get anxious and they're like oh yeah i can i can do it i could do it with a you know the okay so i can't call it 
I mean, I'd like to, but I'm not calling it because I have a lot of other options right now and I don't want to do that. So goodbye. Eight Van. All right, so now we have a green and I am not gonna keep the green either. I don't see anything in my family that would tell me to keep it. Four Van. East. All right, there's the second yeah. east, and we still don't know if those are ones in the hand or picked. Okay, so that helps a lot. And now I have to make a decision, right? I gotta make a decision, but I still can keep a lot of things open. I can still keep one dot, three, five, seven, crack, and nine dot in mind for the fourth hand down. I can still keep the one dot. Three dot, five crack, and uh, where is it? Seven, nine. Bam. I still keep that. Now, if I, those are three, three hands right now. No, two hands that I just went over. The fourth, the first, and the other one was the pung, pung, quong, quong. So, to keep everything here, including the three, five, seven crack, and also five, seven, seven, nine, which would be the cracks and bams, what I would end up doing is getting rid of these here. What do you think, Phyllis? Yeah, I guess. Um, I mean, I've got three really good choices, right? Right. Or would I totally abandon the one with the pair and keep the two side options? No. Okay. Uh, four ones discarded, yes. But the one I need is a one dot. One dot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm answering uh, John on, on the tech. So, yeah, yeah, none, like, of, none of those are out. I've been watching. None of those are out yet. Right. Um, so, you as know, the part of five, seven, seven, nine, you let the one five crack go. Well, I did. You're right. But you for five, talking. seven, seven, nine, it, it's a pung, right? The fives would be pungs. Right. You were talking about a kong there. I was talking about the kong for the mixed suit first hand. So mm -hmm. if I wanted to be like really, really smart, I could keep this here open, five, seven, seven, nine. Keep it open with using it with bams instead of dots. And I could still keep the one dot and the three dot, but abandon the fourth hand down, which needs two Kongs on both ends, right? And I'm kind of weak with those and I need flowers. So maybe I would just do this. Now get rid of the three. I think I like that. I'm kind of feeling it. Okay. Okay. All right. Three crack, two crack, call, six. Bang. All right. So we have a call and we have two jokers available. Joker swap. Two oh, bam. one. <laughs> that was quick. All right. I'll need that. South. One dot. Okay. Uh, so there's one of the one dots. Okay, so we got to keep that in call. mind. Call West. Oh, we've got, wow, jokers are, oh my God, we got a lot of jokers. There goes a West. North. There goes a North. Six Bam. I'm trying to still see whether somebody kept those two Easts or if those were from their hands. I wish I knew. I wish I had like a crystal ball. Mm -hmm. All right, so there goes a one crack. I don't need that. And since He's got two cracks up. I want to get it out. Anyway. One crack. Six crack. Nope. Five bam. Eight bam. All right. That's a one bam. We got that one can go out. 
one bam, seven bam. Okay, so if I were to call that, I would need to use both of my jokers right now. Not feeling like I want to commit quite yet. Mm. All right, what do you think, Phyllis? Commit? No. Not yet. No. Not yet to something. It's still, my hand's still a little weak, no matter which way I'm going, so. Nine dot. All right, there goes the nine dot. There's another opportunity to think about it. I'm going to hold off. And I got to tell you something. There are times where the tiles don't come in and I just decide, I don't force myself. Like I may a little bit later on, if I have nothing to risk by forcing a call and trying to, I use the word push the hand. Uh, but if not, I'll just play defensively. I just don't always just do something just to do it. Got to make sense. So I'm going to let that one go, but we'll see as we get a little bit closer. See, there we go. Seven crack. Oh my God. So all my tiles are going to be going out, but we still have more before we have to make a decision. So I'm going to ignore it. All right. We'll get that out. Who knows if he's playing like numbers and there is one out so far. Oh, now that joker is not available. It's out on the table. There goes another seven crack. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, give me a vote. Yeah, I agree that I, yes, um, abandon the flower hands. Yeah, I already did that. Oh, I didn't even see your your message before. Okay, so I have to make a decision. What do I do now? Do I take it? I kind of am feeling, oh boy, if I take the seven crack, I can call the five crack. Right. One nine dots gone out, no seven dots have gone out, and I don't, nobody's playing with them based on what's exposed, right? Right. Okay. So mm, I think I'm going to, I think I might call it. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think I'm going to call it. I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. what happened? Did I hit the wrong thing? Yes. You hit ignore. <laughs> oh my God. I'm like, why do I do that? Okay. Oh, oh my goodness. Too bad. Julie, no. don't get upset with me when you see this. Okay, so that's now, I got to take that one. Yeah, you got to. I got to take it. I am not hitting the wrong ones. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take that. And I'm just going to start getting rid of these guys. So let me think about one, three, five, seven. I got rid of the three cracks. So I can't even keep that as an, op an option. How many three cracks went out? Like if I kept that just for the heck of it, Mm. And I got another three, five, seven. I could do that, but I don't have any flowers. So that's probably not going to yeah. happen. All right. I'm going to get rid of the three because I don't know if this Wes is playing or this uh, Agatha is playing. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of the three dot. Three dots. I need Joker helps. Six crack. I need big help three now. Dot. Oh, there's the second one dot. Six bam. Six bam. East don't need it. Okay, so now Seven I'm dots. definitely convinced. Wait a minute. That was two east, one, two, three west. So uh, nobody's playing that mini run unless, no, definitely not. Okay, there goes a seven dot, and I can't call it. One dot. There's the third one. Okay, so right, one, two, or is that the second one? Wasn't there another one dot earlier? Mm. No. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Anyway, we're playing five, seven, seven, nine. I'm going to keep the nines as a backup for like numbers with nines if, if I need it. And I am going to, I just thought there was three. It is there. Look, second row. 
One dot in second row. Thank you, Mary. Yeah. There's three. Yeah. So that's gone. So this is actually a very safe tile. So I'm not going to get rid of that right now. But I could definitely start getting rid of like the seven BM I don't need at all. Let's see. Five. Oh, wait a minute. Five, seven, nine. Hold on. Now I could do five, seven, nine, two. Oh, my goodness. Five. Seven, nine, the mixed suit, second hand, right side, five, seven, nine. Oh, I can get that right. too, right? So I am going to get rid of the one dot. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. How many hands could one keep track of? One dot. <laughs> so, six Nobody five. played the wins. All right, two dot. Two dot, eight bam. Eight crack. North. Keep track. All the winds are out. Eight, Eight crack. crack. Green. Just went out. Seven dots. <sighs> okay, so there goes another seven dot. So we're going to not be able to take that. And that's a fresh one coming out. Nobody took it. Uh, nine crack, but I probably don't need... If I'm going to go with like numbers, if I had a switch, I'm going to keep with the nine bam. So I'll do nine, nine crack, crack out. Eight crack. Seven bam. Ah, oh, there goes a seven bam. Can't call it. Oh, geez. How many went out? One. Okay, one. Son of a gun. Three bam. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, I just went ahead and, how do I get rid of, oh, I, the side, sorry about that. Um, I just broke my own rules. Okay, so five, seven, seven, nine, right? Now, what else would we wanna keep? I don't think that's going to happen like numbers at this point. Okay, so we have how many seven dots went out? One, two. Sorry. Two, two went out, right? Right. So I'm going to need to cover that seven dot with a joker. Seven cracks. One, two have gone out. Still hope though, because I only need a pong of those. Right. One good pick, and I'm I'd be good with that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the seven bam. Seven bam. Seven bam. Eight crack. Red. All righty. Ooh, Wes. For you guys that don't play in person yet. The proper way to get a joker is to very nicely and politely say to your opponent, Wes, may I have your joker, please? And you hand them the four dot and they get, hand you their joker. That way it never goes on the table and you forget to announce it and you could it could be considered a discard because you must first announce that you're doing a joker exchange. And if you ever get into playing in tournaments, oh boy. Joker swap. They'll call you dead in a heartbeat. All right, so things kind of looking good here. Now I'm going to escalate this flower because there are none out, but that kind of makes me feel good that everybody has them. And if they call it, it's not going to be a big deal, but I got to get it out. It's way too close for comfort. Flower. Call. One crack. No, they all have their flowers, I bet. <laughs> North. Red. All right, four crack, and we're going to get it out. Four crack, Call. five crack. Okay, so now what could Joe be playing? Joe could be playing, how many different hands could Joe be playing? Just count them up and give me a number in chat. With twos and four cracks. Can he be playing more than one or just one? Anybody? OK. 
Okay. I see a three, a two, and a one. <laughs> wow, three, two, one. Okay. Um, all right. So they're the same suit. So if we look at two, four, six, eight category, the third hand down has the two pungs in one suit, right? And I don't see another one in that category with two pungs. Okay, anybody else? I don't see a run that has two pungs with a concealed hand in a row. It looks like one. Are we in agreement? Where's where's the second one? Somebody can talk. Tell me if there where am I missing uh, another two two pungs of the same suit? Well, either the six eight in one suit or six eight in two suits. That's why I said two. Oh, because of that line could go both ways. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you count those as two hands, you're absolutely right, Phyllis. I'm going to give you that one as being a yes. Yes, definitely. Because that okay. hand, it can be played two ways. I agree. Okay. And I've had a debate with people over that. Do you count it as one hand, one row or no, there are two. Definitely. Okay. Perfect. Okay. <clears throat> so we're going to go ahead and hit ignore. Uh, oh, no, we're not hitting ignore. What am I doing? Oh, my God. I need you guys looking out for me. I'm dangerous. We're calling. Yes. Oh. All right. Now, what I love, and this takes getting used to, is knowing how to get rid of the most unseen, hottest tiles early in the game without even giving much thought to it. But just know that you want to get out tiles that are not seen early in the game but always want to keep yourself set up with safe tiles. And I love the fact that nobody's playing with nine BAMs and they are safe. I don't even have to worry about it with 28 tiles left. I can still keep going for my hands. Nine BAM, South. Joker swap, five BAM. Ooh, you little rat, you. Joker swap, five Another BAM. Another one. Okay, a nine crack and I don't, that's safe as well. Nine crack, red, flower, four crack. Oh, that was kind of late to be taking a risk, although nobody called it earlier. And with no flower, except for that one I threw, every, these two guys here, Agatha and West, probably have their flowers that they need. East, flower, five dot. Call six dots. Mm, okay. So what's he playing? She. Uh, I think two different hands, right? Could be two. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. So what would it be? Three crack, four bam, five dot. Or four, five, six, four, seven, four, five, four, bam, five dot, six crack with a pair of flowers. So she's got her flowers. So, okay. Mahjong. Oh. Oh. Sorry. It's all right. Hey, somebody's got to win. <laughs> but it was, a, you know, there, it, there's just a lot. The more you could learn to keep track of, the more you have options open. But if you are a newer player, don't stress about not seeing every single hand. Just collect tiles in the <laughs> category, the section, the family. They're all, those are all similar. I use those words a lot together. I mean, they're family, category, section. That all means the same thing to me, which means the two, four, six, eight consecutive run, one, three, five, seven, nine. Those sections that are have a, that heading to it. All right, let's start the next one. Oh, let me, I want to see what was left here. 
What did we have left? We had one flower. There's my seven crack. And wow. Okay, let's start. First Charleston. All right, now I'm gonna sort. All right, I got two jokers, which is nice. I have no pairs at all. Now we just have to play around and see what we might want to do. So let's see. If I were to go by cat, like the strongest category, right off the bat. <laughs> Sandy just made. I just made a hand, right? Exactly. Um, Two, four, um, six, eight. Joe just made that hand. That's the one that Joe just made. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Evens, yes. Um, Oh, bye, John. John left. Okay, so that's what I would do there. I'm not feeling that. Keep the eight. If I'm going to collect two, four, six, eight, I'm going to collect them all. Is there something else I could keep and still have tiles to get rid of? Well, if I keep the three um, and I keep the nine, I have three, six, nine, a little bit of three, six, nine, not a whole lot, but I think I'm going to keep those and I'm going to get rid of the East, the one dot and the seven BM. What do you think? Anybody? Um, has? Those are my, those are my choices right there. Anything else you see? Anybody? One dot. Somebody said, get rid of the one dot, two BM, and three crack. Uh, okay, and why, why would I, oh, keep them. Oh, keep them. One dot, two BM, and three, because of the run, you mean? One, two, three, like that? I could, I could. Um, I could, I could do that, but I'm kind of feeling like I might give myself more. I'm definitely gonna keep the three, but I kind of keep myself, maybe I would get rid of the eight dot and then I can keep that. How's that compromise? Okay, I'm doing that. I'm gonna keep that and get rid of the eight dot. Well, I don't know, because you could do... Uh, Which one under 2468 are you thinking? Because uh, you could do the six in the one suit and the eight in the others and six crack. And oh, on the right uh, side. On the right side. Yeah. Yeah. 2468. I yeah, play that's that true. a lot. So that's why I wouldn't guess the eight dot. Yeah, I'm not feeling the one... I'm just not... I'm, I'm thinking that the three, the possible three, six, nine might be, I like that section this year, three, six, nine. I think I'm going to be, it's going to be more in the evens that it is going to end up being the run. I, I don't know. I'm just feeling, I'm feeling like this, these should go here. So I'm doing it. Don't shoot the messenger. It is a crap shoot. I agree. Okay. So now we got a one. And a one dot. Yeah, exactly. Um, but hey, you know, um, two, four, four, six, eight. You know, we have two, four, four, six, eight here. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to just mix this up here and let me see. I sent this out to the first right. Now we're doing a cross. So I'm going to get rid of it now. So I don't give it to the same person, hopefully. And I'm going to do this and I'm going to do, I think this, oh, wait a minute. Cause now I have one, two, three, four as well. Yeah, I saw that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah. Oh Lord. I have one, two, three, four as well. So so I think 
one, two, three, four, which is so nice and flexible. And I don't want to pass the flower. Or if I could, I would, but I don't want to. So I have to give up one of the two, four, six, eights. I can't keep it all. So I'll keep two, four, I'll keep this one. I can't keep, oh wait, yeah, this is the cross. Can't, gotta do something, right? Can't keep it all. And now I have a two dot, <laughs> but I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but it is the first left, but I still don't think there's a reason for me to keep that two dot. So I'm gonna get rid of it because I wanna maximize what I get in. And look at all the, the three dot, nine crack. Who knows if the three, six, nine would have worked out. All right, so I got a six crack. That's kind of nice. So if we keep two, four, bam, six, eight crack, right here, we have third line down on the left side. Now, if we want to keep in mind, three, four, five, six in one suit. Let me put it there. That's another, they're both the same amount of tiles. Three, four, five, six. And that's the, um, that's one suit in the uh, run. Three, four, five, six. That's also a pung pung, kong kong. That would be the fifth hand down on the left side. So I am going to continue. Ooh, hold on. Now, how do I do this? How do I continue? I have to, but now I have a flower. Oh my God. What the heck do I do? Two, four, bam, six, eight, crack puts me into this particular freaking position. Okay, I, okay, you know, I do say don't pass flowers, but there are times where I will do it if I have to do it. It's not something I wanna do, but I don't wanna stop the Charleston because I have a flower. You got would you guys do the same thing? Who who would do the same thing that's out there and pass the flower? Make that exception. I would uh, pass would it. you? I would pass it, Rebecca. Rebecca says yes. Phyllis, would you? Yes. Yeah. I would too. So this would be that time when I would do it. Hate to do it. Second Charles. And I'll tell Agatha, you've got a gift coming. No, I wouldn't say that. Oh my goodness. I don't think there's any, well, two, four, six, eight. Who's coming in so late? Hold on, somebody's coming in. Where's my, I don't see it. I heard somebody coming in, beeping in, but I can't see it. Why can't I see it? Huh. Uh-oh. Uh, I don't know. I thought I heard somebody coming in. Um, so I'm in a little bit of a dilemma because I do have two, four, six, eight as well. I have two, three, four, Five. Oh my God. I have two, four, six, eight. Oh wow. What do I do here? I'm on the second across. Maybe I just, because I haven't seen any more like of the BAMs, like the twos or fours. Well, I could just. Keep those options here. I gotta pass something, right? I have, I mean, I can't keep it all. Let's see. Two, three, two, four, six, eight, or three, four, five, six. 
All right, I got to do it. I got to do it. I got. I can't keep it all. Mm -hmm. And now I got a two, three. So three, four, five, six is looking nice. Okay, and so I can get rid of the nine. Well, look at three, six, nine, too. I'm not going there. I'm not going there. I'm going to get rid of this, this, and maybe I'll get rid of the eight and keep the nine. Three, six, nine, and one suit is there now. Look, three, six crack, and nine crack. So I could do three, four, five, six, and keep three, six, nine as well. And I think that's what I'm going to do. This is a pretty pass. Courtesy pass. Okay, I can breathe. I can get rid of them all. All right, that's interesting that 369 came, came up <laughs> all of a sudden. Let's see if we get any flowers. All right, we got a three bam in. Three, that's not going to really help me much. Is it three, six, nine with threes, unless it's the second hand down from the bottom under three, six, nine? Look at how quickly things change. So the second hand down under three, six, nine. And the threes. Look at how things change. Mm -hmm. Now, I have the pair in there of sixes, the pair of sixes, which is great. Um, but I have no flowers, so I do have to worry about that. But I have tiles to get rid of, so I can get rid of them and not be rushed into a decision. Now I have more options. More. Eight bands. More things to make my brain crazy. You got it. <laughs> Eight crack. Oh, let's see. Oh, wow. Oh my God. Okay, goodbye five dot. Five dot. Now, yes. let's talk about this really quickly because I definitely need a flower to feel really comfortable because I could call the three and I could call the nine or the three here, but I need one flower to give myself some peace of mind one if man. I were to do that. Five band. All right, I'm talking to the Mahjong gods. Give me, please, green. a flower. To them. Ooh, we got a call with greens. Okay, we don't know what they're doing yet, but there's quite a few hands it could be, like too many right now to count or figure it out. <laughs> right. Four dot. Three crack. All right. Uh, 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 now, uh, if I did uh three four five six as well as keeping that three six nine open if i know that i could do three four five six then i yes send her a flower yes please i need a flower then i can call it right yeah. i can call it because i also could use the pung for three Right. Four crack, five crack, six crack. Right. I kind of feel like I want to call it. I'm doing it. All right. I'm doing it. It's early, but I I don't know. This other three crack could be at the very end of the game. And I really have, I just need one flower to feel really, really good about <laughs> this. I'm doing it. Uh, hold my breath. Oh. All right. Now. I am going to, um, which would I, oh, I want to do the, I want to keep three, four, and five, and six. So the two is what I'm taking, getting rid of right now. Okay. I want to be careful two here. Crack, five dot, one dot, call, seven, bam. Ooh, okay. Now we know what he's playing, don't we? Does everybody know what Wes is playing? I'm watching in the chat. He's playing like numbers. Like numbers. Yep. 
Third hand down. Two them. Maybe I'll get a stock joker. Oh, another three dot right in a row. Three dot, four crack, one crack. Okay, so there goes a four crack. So we have to remember that when Seven crack. we're making our decisions here. Two bam, don't need it. Two bam, east. Where's my flowers? South. I want more jokers too. Six crack. I'm not being greedy. I already, ha I already have it. <laughs> So now I'm going to let that go, even though, because there is one more, even though I could do, oh no, I can't do three. No, I don't need it. I don't need it no matter what, because three, crack, four, crack, five, crack. Yeah, I would need it for yeah, you would need it. Would. But I'm going to let it go, because I don't want to, well. I, I don't know why. Why I should let it go? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm rethinking. Okay, so if I call the six crack with one joker, I need two good picks to cover the four and five crack. If I let it go, I can still keep that other option open for the second hand from the bottom, three, six, nine. Oh, what do I wanna do? What am I feeling? But with the con, you don't need any flowers. Exactly. I don't need any flowers. And it's early, but I'm going to expose myself. No. I'm going to let everybody know what I'm doing. That's not good sometimes either. Um, all right. I'm going to call it. I'm doing it. Oh man, do I want to do it? All right, I'm going to do it. All righty, so we're doing uh, three, four. No, yeah, no, wait a minute. Three, four, yes, three, four, five, six. Oh my God, I had to think about it. Three, four, five, six. Cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, all righty. So now I need lots of help. And I am got two, three BAMs. We know Wes isn't using them. Maybe one of the other players is using three BAMs or nine cracks, and I'll get to do a joker swap. Three BAM, West. Four crack. Oh. Uh, I will hold up on that. Oh. <laughs> I would take it. Because... Because I then need three, I need two caught tiles to cover the five crack. And there's none out and it's early. There, there is one four crack out the Oh, there is one out. Oh, yeah. That makes my that makes a different story. Um yeah. one, two, three. Oh, well, I have to call it then if there's one out, but it's against my better judgment here. I am just going to have to pray that I get, I need two good picks. This is probably why I'm not a good player because I would take it and hope for the best. Yeah, well, I didn't realize there was one out. That was my bad. But in this, if there was not one out, then I would it. not be taking it. I'm, I would hold off. I would hold off, but I am going to call it right now. Call. Three bam. Four dots. I need two good picks. Right. Five crack. There goes one of my sides. <laughs> East. Oh, good. All right. I need one more Three good crack. pick. Two dot. Eight crack. Nine bam. Call. Seven bam. Seven dot. Oh. Debbie, may I have your yes. joker, there please? There you go. Swap your own. <laughs> joker swap. <laughs> All right. Let me move that over so I don't accidentally get rid of it. Nine crack. All right. Now, that was pretty lucky. I hate that there's so much luck in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Seven I really dot. do. Okay. Four dot. Don't need it. I don't think, I don't know if Aka is Four playing dot. it, but nobody else is. West, two crack. Oh, uh, 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 
Wow. <laughs> that was a lot of luck. I got to oh, tell you. A lot. lot, a lot, a lot of luck. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You, you can't make that up, right? No, you can't make it up. But it's, you know, again, I probably would look, it could, you know, you could go either way and it could work out in your favor. I could have gotten no jokers. But the fact that there was one out, I definitely now why? Okay, I'm having a little bit of trouble finding the I have somebody coming in, but I can't see. Oh, here it is. Okay. I couldn't find. I couldn't, I wasn't scrolled up enough on my chat window. Um, <laughs> oh God, someone in YouTube said they're clapping. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so we'll play again. Let's get going. That was pretty good. Yeah, it, you know, again, it could go the opposite, right? I mean, we've seen me have some crappy hands. So, all right, now, ooh, look at this. Look at how pretty this run is sitting here even though it's small and we have another one six seven eight i was just seeing those because of the norse and who knows maybe if i maybe i'll get a bunch everybody will give away their wins and i'll get them but i can't just do all that and not consider what else is going on so we have two dot four dot six dot and eight dot so we have two, four, six, eight nicely sitting there. What else could we keep? Um, one, two, three, let's see. Possible pairs. Let's see what else, north. Uh, yeah, we could definitely look. When, we, when you don't have any jokers, you definitely wanna consider pair hands. So I'm going to keep those right there. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, this. And this. Two, four, six, eight. I think I'm going to do that right now. See what happens. Let's play with it. Uh, I got a one. Okay, so I have a one two, three, four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to hold a little bit longer, but I'm probably going to break these up if I don't feel it and I don't see anything coming in. So one, two, three. You know, I also really like that concealed hand under consecutive run, one, two, three. And I'm wondering if I should do that and keep that and break this north up. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna break it up. I'm just kind of feeling like that I need to do this. I don't know why. No, didn't come out very good. Now I have a six though. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need we have some gaps, but we do have those that fourth hand singles and pairs coming into play. What else could I keep here? One, two, three, four, six, nothing, nothing. I got another north in. I gave away and I got. Still, still kind of risky. Four, five, six, three, four, five. I don't know. Oh, golly, guys, what would you do? I'm going to break this up again. I'm not feeling too much on the um wins thing no nope. mm. kind of happy that happened okay so if we were to play go for that singles and pairs hand we're missing fives the five dot and we need a two and a four right and a seven but that's not too bad it's not too shabby Second you know second. jokers might as well do it right Right. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything with this because it doesn't make sense to keep that even at all at this point. Oh, I got a two. I could have done that one, two, three. Son of a gun. Look at that. I gave it away and I just got it. Okay. 
I'm gonna keep it just in case. Missing fives, yes, I am missing a five. Look at that. Huh? Wow. Oh, but there's still hope. I'm gonna try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I convert to a one, two, three, four, <laughs> right? What's the worst that can happen? Those singles and pairs are baby right. pieces of the bigger hands, all of them. There's no reason why you can't try them. So I'm just gonna get rid of those. Flower. And look what I got. Oh, I'm missing is to get one freaking five dot wow. <laughs> to be in a good position. Whoa. Whoa, North. singles and pairs, fourth hand down. Wow. Bam. Three bam, call, two dots. I need to have my, uh. there goes one, two dot. Okay, we got to keep an eye on that. There goes one, five dot. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's see, I'll do the four crack. Four crack, two crack, four bam, red. Okay, so a red and green went out. I have a red and green. No, five bams are out, so I want to get those out. Five bam. Two or that bam. out, I should say. Five crack. Call. Seven crack. Ooh, so we have a three bam and a five crack. So he could be playing a few things, right? We need to keep an eye now on him, although it's really early in the game, but he could be playing a few different things here, correct? We could be playing two BM, three BM, four crack, five crack. We could be playing one BM, three BM, three crack, five crack. We can be playing three BM, four BM, five crack, six crack. So, we can be playing any others? I don't think so. I don't, oh, wait a minute. Yes, he can also be playing the second hand down from one, three, five, seven, nine, one, three, one, three, five. So lots of things right now. We don't know what's going on with this hand. So um, anyway, we're just going to keep not. hoping. So. We get a five. Oh, we'll know now. Well, there's already one four, two four bams out. Four bam, four crack. So chances are the three bam, four bam, five crack, six crack is not one of the ones we talked about. Four bam. And there goes another good reason why it doesn't look like it's that one at all. And this one. Eight crack. Nope. So, oh. I'm gonna save it in case we have to pop out of it. Green. In case four we have crack. to do one, two, three, four, or two, three, yeah, one, two, three, four would probably be it if we get no fives. Nine dot, five dot. Oh, second five dot, woo hoo. West, six crack, nine crack, nine bam, call. Hey, it's fun trying. Okay, so there goes a four dot, but I have no joker, so I can't Six call bam. anything. Uh, there goes a nine dot, but let's go ahead and get it out. Nine dot, flower, call, eight dot. Aha, uh -huh. we've got a flower, and we have an eight dot, and we have a soap, which is not out, so we want to get Six. that out. Seven, bam. Definitely. Call, east. Ooh, okay. So we have seven and nine, a pung of sevens and a kong of nine bams. So he can be playing the fifth hand down, five, seven, nine with greens, but there's two greens that went out. What else could he be playing? Uh, first hand, one through nine on the left side. What else? Six, seven, eight, nine, consecutive run. That two. So there's like three hands he could be playing. Oh boy. All right, let's go ignore. Two crack. All right, let's get this out because now we'll know 
Is he playing one, three, three, five? One bam. East. Oop, didn't call it. Four crack. Maybe he couldn't. Eight dot. Ooh, wow. Here's a three crack. Let's see what happens with this one. Three crack. East. Aha. Uh -huh. Six Hopefully crack. he's not ready. So. West. West. Joker swap. Eight bam. Six dot. Wow. It's tough when you have nothing uh, to... I'll keep that for a moment and just get rid of the red, but uh, even if I wanted to keep it, it's not okay. going to be that Five helpful five. for me because, oh, okay, we're out of the singles and pairs hand, but wasn't it fun trying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. Um, yes, watch the seven and one dot, one, three. Yeah. Okay, ignore. You can't do anything with it. Two crack. North. Move this over now. All right, that helps. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, which we nicely went into. We don't have any fives. The fives are all out. So basically, Thank you so much. Um, I appreciate you saying that. It was a nice try. So anyway, I am going to actually escalate the flower at this point in case Agatha is playing with two pungs of flowers. And here we go. Flower, two bam. No. Call, north. Oh, okay. So... He needs it. Does he have it already covered or he doesn't have it covered? Interesting. Um, ooh, Wes, may I please have your joker? You're so kind. I just made you joker list, but we know you have other jokers in your hand. Plus, there's not three exposures up. I'm okay with doing that at this point. Okay, so we are doing very nicely here. And, you know, I could cover the four with a joker. I could cover a three with the joker and just need one good pick for the two. Are there any twos out? But Agatha could be playing with twos. So Agatha could be my competition here for the twos. So first line. Right? First line under any like numbers. Yeah. And there, oh, right. There's one down there. I thought you meant first line, any like numbers, but yes. He could also be playing twos and eights with the two pungs. We don't know how many eight. There's one, two, could, probably not eight dots. Is it, could it be eight bam? There's no eight bams out. Oh, but he can't be playing it because they're the opposite. Could it be eight cracks? Let's see. How many eight cracks? Wow. So there are no eight cracks out. He could be playing... Flowers, twos, flowers, eights. That would be the third hand from the bottom. Interesting. Okay, let's see what's going on Seven here. Dot. Six crack. Seven dot. Seven crack. All right, let's see. Anything I need to worry about? Not at all. We're still kind of doing good. Nine crack. Six dot. Okay, one, two, three, four, we don't need that. And it would be too weak on the other end to do it the other way, or would it be? Yes, because I have the three one dots, so I'm not doing that. Two, three, yeah, no, can't do that at all. Three crack. Doesn't, wouldn't even work without Nine fives. Dots. Oh, look at that, my eight here, we don't need that. Anybody doing eights, it could be, nope because there are already eights out. Eight dot. So hopefully eight not. Crack. Ooh, that's interesting. Eight dot. Aha. Uh -huh. North. Okay, we get rid of the soap. So joker swap, one crack. Ooh, who did the joker swap? Wes took the joker. Oh, wow. Call three bam. Oh, here we go. One. And twos. Oh, yeah, I like that hand. Second hand from the 
a consecutive run, second hand down. So he was not ready when I threw that flower to call that other pong. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my goodness. Um, so let's see, we're good yeah. with that. Green, two dot. Okay, now if I call it, doesn't matter because I need one of something to cover. And, but here's the deal. If I call that two dot, does anybody need it? No, we're good, right? So I need to call the two dot because no matter what, I need a three dot or a four dot or a joker to cover these other two. So I'm calling it. And I don't think anybody needs to know the, hopefully not. I'd, I'd take it. Yeah, oh. we're taking it. Seven dot. Yeah, Seven we're dot. doing it. <laughs> Nine crack, seven crack. Oh, look at that five dot. Uh, that is mean, <laughs> mean, mean, mean that that five dot came into my hand. How dare you do that? Five dot, nine crack. So, seven dot. Eight crack, am I okay? I am, right? Eight crack, one dot. Oh, all right, I don't oh. need it. I got it. Mahjong. Oh. oh my God, these bots are too tough. All right, so five, six, seven, eight, nine, that first hand, five through nine. Very nice. Very, very nice, Joe. Good job. All right, you guys up for another game? Can you hang in there for another game? Sure, sure. I can. First Charleston. Oh, ooh, fun, <laughs> it's awfully fun. All right, so we have a pair of flowers. We have a pair of seven dots. We have a pair of greens. Look at how very pretty that looks right there. That's very nice for potentially having uh, any like numbers third hand down. Very pretty. What else could we do if we wanted to keep that? We might want to keep that for the second hand down under Winds and Dragons. You never know. What else could we keep here? That would make sense. Yeah, uh, we could keep flowers and greens and try to get 2020, um, uh, the date. 2022? Oh, no. Mm. Yeah. no, I wouldn't probably even be considering that right now. I, don't, I only have one, two. I have no soaps. I mean, I would definitely... You know, I, I don't want to give up this right now. And I'm thinking that um, I definitely don't need that or don't want that right now. So I'm going to get rid of that. Another seven. And let me think here. Seven, eight, seven, eight. No. Yeah. So I don't need this for sure. And I don't know. Um. I hate when there's like one hand and it's probably gonna be that one hand, honestly. But I don't think I'm gonna keep this nine. I'll get rid of this now. <laughs> this is not pretty. This is not pretty. Um, All right, get rid of that. What I was thinking too, but then there's, I, I like that seven, eight, seven, eight, nine, but I have the flowers. So it doesn't really make sense. I don't want to give the flowers up, but what about we keep this as well for the flowers, sevens and eights, that second hand down. If for some reason it doesn't work out, keep the eight. Yes. 
Yes, Diane, I'm keeping it. Um, you meant the eight man, bam, seven down under consecutive run, three, four, five, six, seven. Flowers, uh, oh, that, yeah, but it's weak for that. I was thinking of, I was thinking of, uh, mm -mm. seven, eight, yeah, so I don't know. All right, I'm going to pass this even though it's um, two wins together because since I gave some and got some, I'm kind of thinking that nobody's keeping it. All right, I'm getting rid of this. And I, oh, I got another south. Um, six, seven gives me two options. If I were to do the flowers with the sixes and sevens, second hand down, or the sevens and eights, I'm hoping I get, I don't know. Phyllis, what are you thinking here? Uh, uh, north, <laughs> uh, past the two wins in the eight. Okay, I really got rid of something here. All right. Um, I mean, I don't know what else. If I had a seven, I know it's a yuck. I'm doing this. Right, well, I don't really need the red. Do I? Well, no, I don't need the red. Oh, I could need the red. But, all right, I'm passing that. Ah, oh, okay. So I got an eight crack. So let's put the hand in order right now. No, the eight crack doesn't work either. I thought it was, yeah, yeah, seven, I'm thinking crack. seven crack, but that doesn't even work. All right, seven cracks. What? Two six cracks. Two six. So the six, whoops, come on, Debbie. Six flowers, sixes, and sevens. We right. still keep this, right? And is there, <laughs> is there any reason to keep this or this, the nine bam? No. I don't see any reason. To, oh, I want to continue. In Charleston. Okay, so I want to get rid of that. I think we're going to be keeping track of, because now we could do potentially that third hand down under any like numbers with the sixes as well. So we've got mm -hmm. some good flexibility because we can use this if we get six dots and we could use it with the seven dots if we get seven cracks. So I'm doing this and I'm gonna do this one, six, seven, eight red. I'm doing this one. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. I can't, I see what you're typing in YouTube but I am definitely, um, hard. it's a hard decision here. I'm getting rid of this. Um, <clears throat> All righty, what happened here? So we get the wrong suits for the sixes, didn't we? Right. And we're on the last right. So is there any reason that we want to keep the six and seven? Or do we want to try to get another tile in? I'm going to say yes, we want to try to get another tile in because those are the wrong suits, right? For both options, look at that, wrong suit. So look, it looks pretty, but I'm not too concerned about that, even though they're all the same suit at all. All right, did we get anything in here? No, no, ah. Uh. <laughs> she said, I just read Joe's mind. That's so funny. Oh, message retracted. Okay. So two dot. Um, oh, I'm going to do two, six, seven, seven, eight. I'm going to do three. What the hell? I mean, I just have to get something in here. Flower. Uh, look at this. Is this not the pits of the pits? Oh, my God. 
Um, now, if I were to call that, I'm going to put myself right now into that run, completely into that run. And I'm not going to call it yet. I'm not calling it this early. So I'm saying no. Don't get mad at me, guys. East, west. I'm not two calling crack. it too early. <laughs> go, Deb, go. Four crack. East. One bam. I just need a few jokers. One bam. Eight bam. Finally. Finally, we got something in that could be the last hand under like numbers. Mm -hmm. Finally, we get a little bit of something. One bam. So we don't need the Two one crack. bam. Red. One crack. All right, now we have six. So now we still have flowers, sixes and sevens as well. Right. Okay, so I can get rid of the eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven. Is there any reason I need it? No. Eight crack, four dot, two dot. Give me one good tile so it makes crack. me know what I'm doing. Oop, boop, whoops. Oops. Um, okay, so we'll go ahead and get rid of, let's see, there's a red out, but there is no six bam out. And is there a reason to keep that when I have the dots? So far, so good. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of six this. Yes, I still have discards. Good. That was a good move. Even though he called it, it was a good move. I don't want to hold on to it when he needs it. Uh, five, six, any reason to keep that? No. Five crack. Joker swap. So, red. Five crack. All right, we don't need that. And there is none out. So we'll get that no escalated. Five. So, two crack. Seven, bam. Oh, wow craziness but i'm getting rid of it i'm not keeping it i'm not getting off of my course um oh wait a minute though i may keep it because what if i got more of these yeah I I keep it and get rid of the red get rid of the red i can still do it red good job Nine good job one dot six dot okay so that kind of tells me there Mm. that I would not be calling the six dot at this point. So that would be not a smart move. Four bam, six crack. All right. Well, no matter what, whether I'm playing oh. the second hand under consecutive right. run, six cracks and seven dots, or I'm playing any like numbers, the third hand down, I need a Kong. Don't hit ignore, Debbie. <laughs> All righty. Now we'll get rid of the six dot. Okay. We're doing it. Uh, yeah. Six dot. Seven bam. Four dot. Three bam. Four dot. Oh, I know. I got to look at the um, seven crack One there. Dot. Nine dot. All right. So let me think here. Um, seven crack out at all? No, I'm going to get rid of it since I've been holding it for quite a while. So, um, oh, wait a minute. Oh, that was, don't cool. you need you're it? You're not saying, you're not saying call now. No, I don't need that. What? Well, if you're playing, the, the third one down on like numbers, don't you need it? No, you don't. You mm -hmm. don't need it. Mm -mm. No. Either the second one from the, the top consecutive run. Right. Or that bottom one, I don't need the seven at all. No, and they don't need it. Yeah, you don't out, need so it. So I want to get out. I want to get it out. Seven crack. One dot. Four bam. Nine dot. Okay, six dot, and I believe those have gone out, or at least one. Um, what about the two crack? Did I see? Yep, two cracks have gone out. So either one we get out. Six dot, two bam, 
to them. Two dot. Okay, eight bam. Definitely don't know what Agatha is playing there, so we need to get rid of this. Eight bam. Six bam. Three bam. Three dot. Call. Eight bam. Three bam. Nine crack. Mahjong. <gasps> Oh my God, that was way too early. I was so nicely set. I could call the seven dot or the green perfectly set. Oh my God. I mean, that was the hand, you know? I mean, not the seven dot, the, um, it would be six, seven, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, one more game or no? It's pretty good. Ah, I can stay. One more, yeah. First Charleston. Why not? Let's get it done. Okay. Oh, wow. What are we doing here? Um, sixes are our strength. That's our pair. And maybe we will collect wins with the other six for the fourth hand down. Maybe we will try it, but what else do we need to keep here? Do we want to keep something in a run? Maybe five, six, or thinking of six, seven, eight, nine, and not keep the five, six, or keep the five, six, and the seven. To keep in mind, run. So no, we have a first right. We have to do this. Oh, I want to try. I want to see if I can collect some wins. Why not? I would give it a shot. Would you give it a shot, anybody? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Why not? Yeah. I would. It's early. It's early in the game. And there's a few possibilities still. Right? Okay. So we have one there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to keep that still. I'm going to go with this here. Let's see, which one do I want to do? I'll do this to mix it up. Uh, we got the West. Look at that. How pretty. Uh, now, if I get one more tile in, then I have to think about this baby. Do I want to do that whole thing again? Oh, look at this. This is crazy. A little bit of craziness. Um, whoops. I think that's your hand. Let's see. It's got to be. What do you mean? I think it's, that's your hand. It's yeah. got to be. The pass sign. News yeah. with like it's gotta numbers. Be. Now, Phyllis. Do I yeah. stop the passing when I have three yes. tiles to pass? Yeah, only have two tiles to pass. Well, why do I need the flower? You don't. Well, the, uh, you? see, you I can't nothing. see the last tile on my screen because is it, uh, is it because <laughs> of the the windows that you can move away? Yeah, the people are covering. Oh, it. grab I don't the top. Know how to get rid of that. Yeah, you grab the top of the bar at the top of the people, and yeah. and just move it away. So I'm going to continue and. Oh, Even so if I got a tile in, then I would hope that somebody would take get rid of the six dot or six crack if I had to break that up, and then I can call it because I am so nicely set. Right. I'm doing this. I'm continuing. In Charleston. This is a little bit nerve wracking. Okay, I don't need that west. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing's coming in. No. Keep it going. Courtesy pass. Ugh, I was so hoping. So, so, so hoping. Maybe now. Give me a tile. Come on. Oh. Oh, you got north. Look at it. There you go. Oh my God. Three tiles away from Mahjong. That's right. Oh, joker for e to pull either. Yeah, so you're sixes. Exactly. I could put them where they go. 
Yeah. I don't usually do that unless I can, Flower. I know. Right. So one dot call for crack. Oh, we got a call already. Unbelievable. Seven crack, three dot. One crack, three dot. Two bam, west. Flower. One bam. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm Nine just watching crack. what's not Five. out. Two dot. South. Uh, no one. Okay, that's definitely got to go. Seven crack. Red. Nine crack. Seven bam is not out. Seven bam. Call three dot. Uh -huh. mm Aha. -hmm. Seven bam with a joker exchange. Six bam. Wrong six. And we have one, three, two dot, three dots, three, three dots out. So that's not as hot as the five, which is only one out. So I want to get out the one that's least five seen crack. out there. Five crack. Two bam. Seven dot. West. Flower. Call. Seven crack. Oh, we've got flowers with ones. Is he playing one and two? Or is he playing like numbers? She, rather. Eight bam, five bam, call, nine dot. Oh, okay, so we have five, seven. Uh, so we've got, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, or four, five, six, seven. What else could it be? Four dot. Oh, I think I better, oh no, I don't have to worry about that one, right? Flowers, no. No, you're just waiting. Four dot. Eight crack. Eight crack. Can you believe like I could Four be bam. waiting this long to get a, one of my tiles? It happens all the time. <laughs> oh my God. It's not Three. nice. Four crack. Four dot. Eight crack. Not nice. Uh... Seven dot. Eight dot. Four crack. One crack. Mm. Two bam. East. Five dot. Nine bam. Who's playing with my tiles? I'd like to know. Three bam. Two dot. Four bam. Two bam. Seven dot, eight crack. Wow, we're, Nine crack. I cannot believe this. Look at this, we're almost eight in crack. the end game. Holy mackerel. Nine dot, north, four bam, east. So he didn't call it if he was doing four, five, six, seven. And there's another four bam out, so five. Are there any six bams out? No, are there? Eight bams out. No, I bet he's doing five, six, seven, eight. Who knows? Who knows? Only the shadow seven do. Dot. Nine bam. Six crack. Oh, finally. Uh, oh. Three dot. Green. Three crack. Two dot. Can you believe this? Seven crack. One crack. We're in the end game now. Last wall. Green. Two dot. <gasps> oh, I got to throw it. I'm in the game to win this one. Flower. Good night, Good Diane. Night. Wow, nobody called that one. Thank you. That was a gift. Half crack. One bam. South. Eight dot. Two crack. Five dot. Mm. Oh, okay. We're okay here, I'm pretty sure. So, Joker swap. Four bam. Nine bam. Nine bam. Oh, my God. 
Oh, get out of there, Debbie. Nine track, one bam. 16 starts. Look at, oh, oh. Uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, that was Got close. It. That was close. That was close. All right. Okay, well, thank you again. It was another fun, fun night. And I hope, oh, somebody's coming in pretty late. Um, if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do subscribe to MojCon and click the notification, the bell, so that, and click all so you get notifications. Make sure you're signed up for the mailing list if you're not already and you're just seeing this on Facebook. You also want to get signed up on the mailing list, and you could do that right on the MojCon website so that we're connected all which ways. And I do hope you guys will consider MojCon. I would love to meet you in person. It is so much fun when you get to meet somebody and give them a hug and play some Mahjong. The best. It's the best. So I will see you all on uh, next week. Oh, and all the boring stuff first. Sorry about that. No, <laughs> no. So welcome to tonight. Oh shoot! Thank this thing went me. back Boys on. So much fun. I'm sorry about that. I hope that's not going to be on the recording. But anyway, thank you so much for spending your Wednesday evenings with me. I have a blast, and I will see you next Wednesday. And then I do have that um, sportsmanship. Etiquette and sportsmanship coming up the first Monday in February, I believe it is. So I hope you'll join me for that. That's going to be a lot of fun. We should do a lot of laughing during that event. Until I see you all, please stay safe. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Night, Bye. Joe. Night, Phyllis. Good night, Rebecca. Bye. Night, Monica.